In this video, I'm going to show how to set up an ensemble forecast within HEC ResSim. I'm going to walk you through the steps of how to develop an uh, ensemble within the database DSS view, and then how that then gets mapped into ResSim. And then we can look at some results. The first thing I want to do is talk about what an ensemble forecast is. So in ResSim, instead of running uh, just one forecast at a time, you can run an ensemble, which just means that you can run multiple uh, stream flow predictions uh, within ResSim. And in this case, I have three of these stream flow predictions that I developed. Now, in order to do this, you have to set up a collection in HEC DSS view. And basically, a collection is just a group, a set of DSS time series data sets, and they share a common location, which are the A and B parts, uh, a common parameter, which is the C part, and a common time step, which is the E part. And you'll see what the path names are in DSS view in just a minute if you, if you haven't worked with DSS view in the past. Now, if you're going to apply this to an ensemble, the records that are grouped into a collection must span a common time window. And that's what you noticed on the first slide is that the common time window here is January of 1941 through March of 1941. And this collection concept is implemented through an F part naming convention. And again, you'll see this as we move over to uh, developing this in DSS. Uh, one thing I do want to point out is that if you do plan to run ensembles in ResSim, uh, in order to use that collections utility in DSS view, well, first of all, you want to install the most recent version of ResSim and of DSS view. And you want to copy this file, this collection utilities.jar, from ResSim's jar slash ext folder into DSS views jar slash ext folder. And that'll give you access to this collections utility. So the way that I develop my collection in DSS is I start with using Excel. And you can see in column A, I have uh, date and time. And then in the first row, I have just one, two, and three. That's going to be actually the F parts uh, that are going to be used in the database. And then the rest of this is just the data. So I have this ensemble forecast. So basically what I did is I took uh, real data and then I just uh, took half the data and then took twice the data to make up a, this fictional ensemble forecast. So if we go over to DSS view, we can do an import and we can import from Excel. Now my Excel file was called ensemble flows. So I can open that up. Just a couple of things that you need to do here. Number one is that you want to specify that the A part is a date and time column. And then you want to take the first row and call that the path name part row. And you want that to be part F. And if you click in that cell, the upper left hand corner, you can say select all data columns. And it'll bring this up. So we can call this ENSU2 this ENS river. These are setting up the path name part. So this is A and B, which is really the location typically. A lot of times that'll be the basin name and then the river name. And then your C part will be the uh, uh, type of data. So we can call this flow data. I am putting in daily data. And then for F part, I'm just going to leave that as a star for right now. I'm going to tell it to import now. So it imports everything, and then I close it. You can see here that my F part is now 1, 2, and 3, but you can see that I have three separate files. But I want to put those together. So if I highlight all three of those, I can go to Other Functions, and I can say a new collection using the numeric F part. And it'll process those three records. And then we can go and look. And you can see that all three of these are now together. Now we have this ensemble within DSS view. And once that's done, then you can go over to ResSim. And you can see here in ResSim, I have a very simple model. 
So I have inflow coming in at the upstream end of what I'm calling the main stem, inflow coming in at the tributary, and I have a single reservoir. Now, if you've used ResSim in the past, then the alternative editor should look very familiar to you. However, for this run, instead of just doing a standard run, we're going to do an ensemble run. Our operation should look the same as other ResSim runs to where we set up an operation set or we specify an operation set that we want to use for each reservoir. In this case, we only have one reservoir. We put in look back data and then for our time series, then we specify the DSS path name. So in this case, if we were to select the DSS path, then you can see we can select this, tell it to set the path name. And then we can select this one and tell it to set the path name. And for our ensemble, then we have to tell it which one of these we want to use. Now, in this case, we're going to use all three, so we can just put a star there. But if you only wanted to use one of them, then you could put that number. So you can use any uh, number, any combination of your ensembles. But in this case, we're going to use all of them, so that's why I have a star there. And I've already run this, so I'm going to just close this and tell it no. Uh, but what we want to do is then simulate this and then close it. And then when we go look at our data, if you're used to looking at ResSim results, then you can typically used to looking at just one set of data or one, or one uh, Streamflow forecast. But in this case, now you can see that you have all three of them. And you can see in one of them, it looks like it stayed right at top of conservation. The other one had a small rise, and then this one had a very large rise to it. So that's your three different results. And you can run as many, I believe you can run as many of these as you want to. You can also go look at reports, and you can get a reservoir summary. Now, if you go to Options, Set Collection Run, then it'll let you select which run you look at individually. So in this case, we're going to look at the first one. And you can see that it just stays. So we can look at our elevation. And you can see that the average min and max is 60. So that's the run that just stayed at top of conservation for the whole time. And you can see that your controlled release went from a minimum of 200 to a maximum of 6,836. You can also look at the second run. And you can see this is where you got a, a smaller rise. Uh, you got a rise, but um, this is the the this is probably the run of the original forecast. And this was the minimum of 60, but then it did rise to 67.4, and your release varied between 400 and 8,000. And I believe that the third one would be the one where we doubled this. And it is, and you can see where we have a minimum pool elevation of 60 to a maximum of 91.97 with releases ranging between 500 and 10,000 CFS. So that's how you would run an ensemble forecast in REST SAM. Uh, thanks for watching this video. And if you want to know when other videos like this are going to come out, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching this one.